welcome back, my loco little seniors. We're gonna make uh, something cool today. Uh, actually, that's my pappy back there in the background. He's already making something cool. He's welding up some uh, shelving units uh, out of uh, angle iron, expanded sheet metal for that super industrial nuke. <clears throat> and uh, I am doing out some, uh, I'm making some, some bra okay, I didn't actually make them. I mean, I kind of made them. I didn't design, I didn't design them. Uh, making some brackets, hanger brackets to, to mount them. Hang on a second, I'll show you. Check that action out. <laughs> We're making these right now. We'll burn out the patterns over here on the uh, plasma table. We're running the uh, Langmuir systems uh, operated, operated by fire control. And then we'll, uh, yeah, we'll burn it out on the table over here. We'll take it over to the, uh, to the metal brake and get those all broken junk. How slick, right? That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm using, uh, again, I'm using fire control from Langmuir Systems. That's going to be controlling the uh, plasma burn table behind me here. The, uh, the patterns are free. Patterns are free on Langmuir Systems' website. Uh, through their, uh, what is it, like Fire Share or something like that? Let's take a look. I don't remember what it's called. It's available through their Fire Share program. It's uh, programs that have already been written that are uh, fire control ready. They'll be labeled as such. Uh, and a, a lot of them are just, they're, they're already completed projects and uh, they're free to use. So long as you're not out there making a million bucks, have at it. You know licensing issues and, and agreements and what have you. So, uh, <clears throat> we'll be doing our patterns in 16 gauge mild noise make. Now what I'd like to do is get my torch in the right position where I want the project to start so I can maximize my uh, available surface area on this sheet. Uh, no sense in burning it out of the middle. You know, try to keep it all under one corner and I can have more material to burn out other projects. That looks pretty good. So you can see that my XY line, this white line right here, my XY line, that, that's like way off from the pattern. Pattern's gonna start like right over here in this corner here. So I'll come over to here, and I'll zero all axes and you'll see it Bam, right there, X, Y starts right there. That puts this whole cutout pattern in the bottom left-hand corner of that sheet to maximize my available service area for other projects. Let's make some noise.
that is did it all cleaned up yeah it took a few minutes sure but uh you know anything we're doing takes a few minutes if it takes longer than that it ain't we're doing <laughs> uh that stuff that i was taking off there like slag for a welder for somebody doing uh plasma and cnc plasma they call it draws I, I don't know why. I'm sure there's probably a good reason, but I'm thinking mainly it's because it adds one more uh, word in the vocabulary of a fabricator to make you sound um, smart and cool uh, when you talk to people and they have no idea what you're talking about. And, and then, uh, you know, they look up to you and then you get to look down on them. It's gross and strange. Uh, why can't we just call it slag? It's slag. It's melted metal. It's hanging off of uh, the piece that we're working on. Uh, it's slag. <laughs> and I had to clean it off. So there it is. Let's head over to the finger brake, metal brake, sheet brake. Here we are over at the uh, box and pan brake. Um, it's also known as a finger brake. It's got all these adjustable fingers in here so you can open up gaps uh, when you're doing uh, boxes and pans. When you bend up one wall, you need somewhere for that bent wall to uh, roll up into when you bend a second wall. I know what you're thinking. It's like, oh yeah, let's just go over to our $5,000 Diacro uh, box of pan brake. Yeah, you go to Diacro's website and check out their 24 inch box of pan brakes. Yeah, they're about five grand right now. Uh, you don't even wanna know what their four foot costs. So um, did I pay that for this? Absolutely not. I, I would I would never I would never do that. But uh, no, I I got it on Craigslist. I found it on Craigslist for 200 bucks. That is a, that's a funny story. I'm gonna do another video on uh, uh, servicing this machine after I bought it. I had a couple of little hiccups that need to be taken care of. Whoever had it abused it, and uh, but it works amazing. It's a 16 gauge box and pan brake, and um, I. I 200 but that 200 dollars that's never gonna happen again that'll never happen it'll never probably happen for you. i shouldn't say that people on the east coast they probably sweep these off the back door stuff every day but um yeah over here on the west coast heavy older machinery uh manual machines are just harder to come by for some reason people get them they hold on to them they sit in the garage and then they end up on like uh you know pawn stars or, or something uh yeah what would we do? oh yeah let's let's do this and that's about right, right there. Yep. 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 Uh, a little bit more. Yeah, that should do it. Oh, that's pretty. I love it. It's badass. Here's the finger part. So when I bend this up, this has to have somewhere to go. That's why you're able to adjust these fingers, open up gaps, and that's what it does. It's, that's some sound it makes. It makes the, that's what it sounds like. Shut up. See, it made the sound. There we go. See how that looks. God damn, that's pretty. Nice and nice. Let's go clean up those edges real quick right there so they're not pokey. There you go. Worked awesome. Plasma table worked exactly the way it should. And so did my finger break. Kind of hard to break a finger break though. You might have noticed that I am running the fire control uh, program that uh, operates the Lamier Systems Crossfire Table with a Mac. I know, it's a big surprise. <laughs> well, they got a com Mac compatible version on the website, obviously, for a uh, free download from the Lamier website. Uh, the part that I made here, I did not make myself. That is also from Lamier's website under the Fire Share tab. Uh, under there, you'll see a lot of different creators out there have uploaded their finished projects that are, some are cut ready uh, through the fire control uh, Langmuir program. 
and some of them are not. That being said, there are still a lot of options, uh, and as you can see here, worked fantastic. You may have also noticed that I am running the uh, Lotus, uh, CN this is a CNC capable Lotus uh, plasma cutter from uh, Amazon. Am I saying Lotus? Lotus? Lotus sounds better. L-O-T-O-S, Lotus. I don't know. Look, the, 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 the most popular plasma cutter on Amazon. And uh, they designed that model there as uh, the 5500D, L LTD 5500D. I don't know. It's their CNC capable plasma cutter. And uh, I think it goes up to like 55 amp, something like that. So, you know, um, they claim half inch. Under the perfect circumstances, maybe, probably, I don't know. I'm not, maybe I'll try it. But uh, if you're doing quarter inch, like, not not even a not even a problem. Uh, hopefully, this this little bit that I did here uh, today helped answer some of the questions that you have uh, concerning maybe running a Mac and uh, you're laying near table, or perhaps uh, having a Lotus paired up with the uh, Langmuir Systems uh, table. Um, on the Langmuir's website, they have a list of all the known plasma cutters, CNC plasma cutters that will uh, pair up with their uh, program and their with their table just fine. And I don't believe Lotus is on there, but I got a feeling because this is a newer model that it, they will update that. And uh, well, case in point, it works. So my opinion probably should make the list. So there you go, Matthew. Again, in the Florida Northwest Workshop, thank you so much for joining me. You can get it done. I hope I can help. Thanks for watching.